2023 is going to be a fantastic year for shooting film, digicams, digital cameras, and all sorts of photography related stuff. And here today in my Matt Loves Camera studio to talk to me about her goals for 2023 is the lovely Lucy Lumen. How are you, Lucy? Hello, Matt. I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. It seems like just like yesterday, we spoke about our recap of 2022 goals. And here it we does. are again. Time flies, Matt Murray. It's nice to be on the channel again with yes. you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So we're in the last few days here of 2022. And I thought it'd be great to, to look forward. We did this uh, We did this earlier in the year in January. We looked at our goals yep. for 2022. So mm -hmm. I thought right at the end of 2022, why don't we have a look at our goals for 2023? Now, yep. what are your thoughts and feelings, Lucy? I know that we had 11 each last year what are your thoughts and feelings on on how many you've, you've produced for us this time so this time I have significantly less um and I think that's a good thing because I think maybe we were pretty ambitious even though we mm -hmm. did pretty well I think we scored pretty well um but yeah I think having less and more focused yes. like less goals that are more focused more kind of like okay this is what I want to achieve yeah um I think it takes the pressure off um, because sometimes, you know, you, you make all these goals and then it's really overwhelming. Yeah. So yeah, I only have four, so a lot less to share. Yep. Um, what about you, Matt? I have five. Mine are okay. kind of a little bit, um, non-specific. I was kind of gone for sort of big sort of vague sort of Broad, statements, kind of, yeah, um, okay. trying to encapsulate what I want to achieve this year, uh, yep. without some are kind of specific, but some are So I tell you what, why don't we just crack on into them? Let's let's talk about yep. your first goal. Let's do it. Mm. Okay, so my first goal echoes my 2022 goal, which was to make a zine. And yes. I, yeah, I, I failed on that. Um, but like we said last time we spoke, I just, yeah, I felt very torn between ideas. And um, just towards the end of the year, I've uh, gotten an idea that I'm really, really keen on. And um, I've been workshopping it back and forth by email with, uh, Molly Anderson, who often oh, watches, yes. uh, yeah, watches the Analog Hour. She's awesome. Yep. So yeah, she's got photography projects that she's doing. So we've been Wonderful. going back and forth, like working out how to unpack your idea, what to execute, and then kind of motivate each other. So it's been really nice. So if anybody can find someone to kind of do that with, I think that really helps, like a photo yeah. buddy kind of thing. Lovely. Um, yeah. So I will be making a zine. Um, and I've learned to use Canva, which was mm -hmm. part of my 2022 goal. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to make the, um, the zine in there and I'm really excited because I know how to use it. It's easy. Whereas with InDesign, I was a bit like kind of avoiding it. Mm. So yeah. And I'm, I've become more, a lot more familiar with Mixum from, yes. from you because we've been talking about our film photography magazine that will hopefully be happening. Um, yep. so yeah, so I'm just feeling a lot more like, uh, researched and prepared and really excited to execute like my idea which is around uh the movie paris texas which i love so um and it's involving lux too like he's Excellent. gonna be taking some of the photos of me and then i'll be taking some of the photos so it I feels like he might be in a blonde of... wig for a moment <laughs> i think we'll leave that to me okay, i think that'll sure. look a little bit better sure. on me yeah. um yeah so i think him taking the photos of me and me taking the photos takes the pressure off of just a zine of just my photography sure. if that makes sense as well yeah. like having him doing some of it is like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, someone to share it with. So I'm really excited to, mm -hmm. um, and I've got a website. Um, I've got uh, the um, person that did the selling cameras website. I yep. love, uh, she's going to be doing my website. So um, I'll probably sell the zine through there. Yep. So it just feels, you know, when you feel like everything's falling into place, yeah, like yeah. before I was like, oh, how am I going to sell it? What am I going to use? I don't know how to use in design. There's all these barriers. And now I'm like, yep, I'm clear. And I'm ready. So um, hopefully like halfway through the year, but I'm not making any promises on here. So cool. Yeah. We'll look forward to that. Yeah. It's exciting. What about you? What's your first goal? Well, my first goal here is, uh, so is number one, get closer to my ideal kit. So okay. I have a lot of cameras at one stage I had well over a mm. hundred. I don't think I've got anywhere near that number anymore. I'm slowly yeah. selling them, getting rid of them. Um, I sold a box of broken cameras the other day, which was great to a, a guy I know locally. Yeah. You said, yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like, I want less. I want my ideal kit. So for example, I, I am seriously thinking about getting a Canon uh, EOS film camera. I've, I've had them in the past. It was yep. my, actually my first uh, camera mm -hmm. ever, or well, second camera ever. Yep. Um, but I'm thinking about getting one of the more advanced ones, the EOS yep. 5 or the EOS 3 or whatever mm -hmm. there was. Yeah, um, yeah, but awesome. I'm thinking about just, you know, what do I really want and get that and get rid of everything else. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it, it, part of that is, you know, working out what I like to shoot, um, for example, when I bought things like the Minolta TC1, I've sort of worked out, okay, I like this camera. I don't really mm -hmm. like that zoom point and shoot over there. Mm -hmm. So it's just trying to, yeah, mentally sort of say, you know, clear the decks and sort of say, I yep. don't want all this stuff. I just want two or three or five 
cameras that I want to use for these purposes. Awesome. I love that. I think that's great. I think like uh, a lot of gear holds you back than, mm-hmm. than not, not enough gear, you know, like yeah, having choice paralysis. You know, one or two. Yeah. And just like clutter generally like in your space. And yeah. I mean, I know cameras are beautiful and stuff like that, but especially if you're a big point and shoot, um, like buy a lover yeah. like i've got a lot too and some of them don't work and like yeah. whilst they look cool it's not the same as having like this you know like the olympus pen ft or where it's this beautiful or... you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah where it's like this shelf piece like yeah. um so yeah i think it's good to yeah thin thin it out a little bit um, out. and the canon eos uh i can't i can't remember what hashem i think hashem has one of those oh, um, yeah. i can't remember which one exactly and he uses it i think for like his like weddings or yes, professional yeah, yeah. stuff, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Great. Um, so yeah, they're definitely really good. So that that would be awesome to see what you would do mm. with that and how it would change you as a photographer as well. It would change me. I'm sure it would change me, Lisa mm. Lemon. <laughs> 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 On to your second goal. What is your second one? My second goal is to um I don't know how to sort of word this eloquently, but um I will be uh in an exhibition wow. in 2023 mm-hmm. um in Germany. I thought it was gonna be this year, but it's been postponed. Yep. Um and that's huge for me. And I never thought that that would happen. So my goal is to kind of make that happen again. So to be sure. exhibited again in 2023 in some capacity, uh, it doesn't matter what it is or who, you know, who it's with or where it is. Um, but just to sort of put myself forward for more things, like keep an eye out for open calls and yeah, just keep on that. Cause I set a goal this year to mm-hmm. submit my work and, you know, without any kind of like outcome and, um and like yeah so much happened from that so yeah, amazing um, yeah. success open a lot yeah, of doors for really you good. and yeah. give you some, was, a confidence boost in that respect definitely and it's made me like i want to keep going you know mm-hmm. um and i was talking to uh to naomi um yes. Sil- silver soltress yes. um shout out to you and um she was messaging me saying that she has an exhibition opportunity oh, wow. but she she was like oh you know you always talk about plugging yourself and yeah. stuff like that so she um sent some work through i won't say too much because you know but um yeah she messaged me she messaged me <laughs> maybe i shouldn't have said anything i was just really excited for her delete, and delete that bit from the video <laughs> um but yeah i think it's awesome to like yeah submit your work and um yeah. just put yourself out there and yeah i want to do that more definitely in um in 2023 yeah Amazing. what about you what about you what's your second goal my second goal is to do more portrait and fashion shoots. So, of course, this was one of my goals kind of from last year. I never did, you know, the whole uh, COVID getting in the way of things, you know, mm. the, the atmosphere for getting out there and meeting people you didn't know wasn't great. Yeah. And if you did, your people were wearing masks and all this and staying away from people. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I do, you know, I used to do portrait and fashion shoots a little bit, um, either, you know, when I was writing articles for, you know, digital photography school or F-stoppers or other, just other, you know, general sort of shoots. Um, so yeah, I feel like I want to do more of them this year. Um, so I've kind of kept it kind of broad. It's got more portrait and fashion shoots. I've done zero Mm -hmm. in 2020, 2021 and 2022. So Mm -hmm. if I do one, that will achieve the goal. You'll have achieved the goal. So hopefully I'll do more than one, but that's it. Yeah. Awesome. I'm really excited to see that. I think, um, it'd be good to just sort of, uh, like reach out to people and like Mm -hmm. book something in. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Cause then you're like, yep. okay, it's booked in. I'm tied to it. I've got to do it. Yep. Um, and then you will have kind of got the ball rolling like early on in the year. Yeah. Like I think it's good if, if you can try and get on as many of these things as possible straight yes, away, you then definitely. kind of have some momentum. Cause like the more you leave something, the more kind of like yeah. the zine, like I left it and then it was just kind of getting away from me more and yeah. more throughout the year. So yep. um, sure. yeah. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so my third goal is to incorporate more, storytelling into Mm. our youtube videos and like from my perspective of you know presenting and Mm -hmm. like planning the videos but also from like storytelling in a visual aspect so storyboarding the videos out a little bit more um lux has got um like a few different lenses and he's got like a new, like a follow focus, like attached to the um, X, X-T4. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's looking very professional and very cool. And like, even when he's just filmed things at home, I'm like, yeah. oh my God, that looks what, what is a follow so, focus? I've got to ask. I don't really know. It's like, okay. you know, in movies how like one thing will be in focus and, and then like, and then it'll, it'll move to the other thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Does that okay, make sense? Cool. Yeah. Um, that that's what they use. So right. it's on the side of the camera rather than being here. So rather than going like this and then the camera right. moves, you do it on the side here, and it's like real smooth and pro. Yep. He's Lovely. gonna be like, "You explain this terribly." Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really cool. So I want to utilize that, and um, I think that's a huge creative part of it for Lux. Yeah. Yep. So um, rather than just sitting here in the studio 
and like yeah. sort of you know telling people things I think it's cool to get out and like yeah like show more like cinematic kind of I feel like that word gets thrown around too much but mm. just more kind of yeah storytelling and um like those kind of vibes in the videos to make them like more engaging and open up our scope rather than yeah just mm. like talking head videos or the run and gun photo walk style that we do so yeah very cool um, hopefully we'll be able to do some of that with you i'm hoping yes. we can do another photo walk in yeah well I, I forgot to mention in our last goals video that i had two stretch goals and one of them was to do another photo shoot with you oh, and we, we yes. didn't do it this year no we didn't i can't no. believe that like that time has gone by though I know, like, I, know. I can't even believe we're doing this and it was yeah. you know like how That's long right. have i known time you flies, now huh? it's like so you know it feels like 18 months yeah it's, it's crazy. Like 18 years yeah you're sick of me you're sick of me <laughs> Oh God, this friendship. <laughs> it's weighing you down. <laughs> um, so my uh, third goal is uh, more travel photography. Of course, this is another mm. one that sort of has got in the way of of COVID, I suppose you could say. Like we, our, our last overseas trip was 2019. We haven't been many yeah. places since then, just local places in Queensland. I have tried to do this thing where, you know, throughout my videos this year on the channel, when I've been showcasing, you know, uh, Sydney Steel 400D, I try mm -hmm. to do this style of photography. I don't know what my style of photography is in a way because I, I, I'm not a street photographer. I don't like mm -hmm. I don't like people being in my photos unless I, unless I'm doing portraits. I don't want Me people too. in my photos. Yep, yep. So and and the kind of style that I settle upon in my mind is the kind of style I've been doing the last couple of years is really travel photography, but locally. Yep. So looking at what's unique and interesting about a place mm -hmm. and trying yep. to find cinematic and interesting locations that mm -hmm. could be, you know, show, showcase a place and what it's like to, to be there or visit there. Yeah. Um, so, I, but I actually want to do that again. I want to do the travel photography actually in somewhere exotic and interesting. So we mm -hmm. have a trip to Japan lined up uh, so in April, which is very exciting. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're going to Sydney as well in January. So uh, yeah, hoping to, you know, get out there and do a bit of travel yeah. photography and yeah, yeah. looking forward oh, to that. Oh, well, those two places you'll definitely be able to, um, mm. yeah, take, especially Japan, you'll have some mm. awesome, and Hope maybe so. you'll be able to like put together like uh, a zine or a I zine. feel like whenever people oh, gosh, go, pressure. Oh, <laughs> just going to put that put that out there. No, I feel like when people come back from holidays, they're really, yeah they're really excited and they really want to like, you know, yeah. put together something to show it off. Cause it doesn't feel like you're doing it justice when you're just like, here's like, I'm just going to dump them on Instagram and yeah. whatever, you know what I mean? So I think a yeah. book is really nice. Yeah. Well, I think that's why I did my, my first scene every summer. I, we, sh I didn't had no, I sort of was thinking about a zine. We went to the Isle of Wight. We were there six days, mm -hmm. come back to Australia, got the photos developed, love them. I'm going to do a zine. And yep. by the end of the year, it was out. Whereas mm -hmm. with, um, are we talking about in the last video we did together, how I, I was supposed to do my second zine this year with photos mm -hmm. from 2019, but it just felt yep. like there was no momentum mm -hmm. and it was weird. So I think that's encapsulated a good point there. It's always Definitely. good to come mm -hmm. back, be inspired and get it done. Get and it then done. move on to the next thing. Definitely. Yeah. And I think also with trips, it's already like your theme's already done. Yes. Because you're going to Japan and you're going to take yep. photos in Japan. Yep. So just it just like rules out that having to, you know, when you're at home and you're like, okay, what's my zine going to be about? What's yeah. my photo project? Okay, what do I, I like shooting like Shopping toys? Drawings. Okay, well, what's my angle going to be with that? And it's so much yeah. like work beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Absolutely. with Japan, it's like Japan. The theme is what I, I went to Japan and I took all these photos. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. It's exciting. So your, um, your last one now. My last one. Yeah, I only had four. So number four is pretty big um, and it's uh, it's also quite broad, mm -hmm. um, not in the traditional sense, but to make make photography my full-time job. Which... <laughs> I was going to say make photography great, fun again or great again. I thought it was a recycled <laughs> Donald Trump campaign I've got, slogan. I've got a cap printed. Make photography great again. T-shirt, yeah. <laughs> Single-handedly, I'm going to do it. No, no. So sorry, what was the goal? Is that again? <laughs> So it's to make, make photography. I can't say it with a straight face now. Make, make photography. I hope no one makes a meme out of this um, or anything. Um, it's to make photography my full-time job. Right. Like excellent. In yep. the, in, which to be honest, look, I was a teacher aide and yeah. teacher aides get paid really badly. So it, yeah. it shouldn't be too hard to just replace that income. Um, but yeah, I just love to make this like my, you know, that's what I bring into the family from everything that I do. Yep. And then I don't have to, you know, as Luca gets older, I'm not like, okay, got to return to work to my mm. job. It's like, oh, this is my job. My job is like part, you know, YouTube part, yep. you know, all the other things that I do in photography. 
And I've also had uh, two, I was telling you about it actually, because I was asking you for some advice. Um, I've had two, uh, a friend who has a bar, yes. um, like locally to me, like a little tapas bar, which is really cool. It's very like vintage looking inside. And he was like, hey, do you want to take some photos of the bar yep. for me? And I was like, oh, okay, why not? And he's a friend. So I'm going to try and do it on film. Mm. And just go for it. Um, I'll probably use like a point and shoot with the flash to kind of grab that Lucy Lumen vibe and then maybe use the pen FT. Yep. So I've got more shots to like, you know, and I thought that the the shot like diptychs could look cool. Yeah. Tell a story like with the food and the drink and the people and whatever else. So hopefully I can execute it because I'm really good at this part. And then I get there and I'm like, oh my God, like it's not a shopping trolley or a no, you'd be great. You'd be, motel. You'd be, I'm so... looking forward to seeing your results. It'd be, it'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got that. And then another lady with a little shop asked me to shoot awesome. her shop. So I'm like thinking maybe that could be uh, another one of my Kramer uh, schemes that I, yeah. you know, think, no, I think it, that'll be really fun to be able to do things yeah. locally and like photograph places, give people beautiful photos that they're happy with, that they can use on socials yeah. or website and get paid to do that would be a dream, especially Amazing. on film. That'd be yeah. super cool. So yeah. Excellent. So that's Fantastic. like a, my big overall goal. What about you? What's Brilliant. your fourth? Yeah. Well, my fourth goal is just to balance film and digital a bit. I feel, again, I keep going back to this, yeah. but I feel like the last three years, you know, 2020 to 2022, you had this period and I feel like I turned to film a bit more when all the lockdowns and stuff happened yep. and sort of started going through my cameras, shooting film more. And I feel like this year, the last few months in particular, maybe because it's the rising price of film, um, but I feel like I've got, I went too far to film and I feel like I, I've been ignoring digital a lot, yep. you know, I yep. don't mean that in a bad way. Uh, I just mean it that I've ignored my digital equipment and I haven't been using yep. a lot of my cameras. Uh, so, you know, I, I kind of feel like now I need to balance things up a bit and bring things back into the equilibrium. And, totally. and, sh and so when I go to Japan, you know, if, if you'd asked me a year ago, what I was taking to Japan, I probably, probably would have taken more film cameras than I'm, I think I'm, than I think I'm going to take, I think I'm just going to take two little point and shoots and some digital. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think I'm, you know, going to go all out with the film in Japan for various reasons of trying, trying to keep the, the backpack light and all that. So definitely. Yeah. And traveling and like airports and all that sort of stuff for sure. But I think, yeah, I probably could have had a fifth goal, uh, of, the same is like, yeah, shoot, shooting more digital. Yeah. Um, cause I've always been film and I think, yeah, many things like price, you, like what you say. And also I'm having a lot of fun. Like somebody sent me a Fuji XE one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've been shooting that and then like, Oh, it was so much fun yesterday. Like yeah. the shutter sound was so good. Mm. And, um, it just look, it looked, they look so cool. Like the Fuji cameras are just so nice to use. Um, mm. so yeah, I'm excited to play around with them more. Uh, and then yeah, more digi cams and, and just kind of like, present that as an option to people as well as mm. film and like have the two coexisting side by side. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think channels like one month, two cameras have really like that, that was my gateway into mm. like, she made me really want to want to try it. Like she made digital great again. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think that's, uh, that's the thing for me. Like I, you know, I do sell some stock photography and I, I would mm. like to write, you know, write, articles for f-stoppers but i would like to write some travel stuff yeah. and so the thing is like you wouldn't be able to you know in 2022 going and shooting stock photography or travel articles with a film camera i mean yeah. you might be able to get away with the the, the travel magazine with with a film mm. camera depending on how good your scans are but stock photography yeah. no way so yeah i feel like there's other interests i've got there and i need to, to balance things out a bit more um for sure it opens up the scope a little bit like even like what i was saying with the the these shooting opportunities mm -hmm. i think i probably will take digital with me yep. um as well just to try that out safety and shops. you know yeah for safety and and just to see what that's like and you know it's like it doesn't matter it's not more important that it's on film or yeah you know it'd just be cool to kind of like offer that to people i guess and make that like sure. my thing um but yeah it opens up the scope a lot more mm. and like i've been selling some of my digital prints on darkroom as well and yeah you know i'm kind of like oh i don't need to just be like the film person you can yeah. you know also do that too. diversify um, yeah yeah it's just fun yeah. and it mixes things up it's like anything in life like you say you went sort of too hard the other way so yeah. um yeah yeah i'm excited for, mm. for our balance in 2023 and then you can do some digital content for youtube as well which yes will really open you up to mm like a new group of people yeah um, bigger audience is, probably yeah because mm -hmm. i get a lot of comments on my digital like my digicam videos or my fuji mm -hmm. videos and people will say like about how they used to shoot film and now they're just shooting digital or mm -hmm. whatever so 
even if people aren't like, you know, shooting, shooting film, they might still enjoy watching your other videos sure. on that, especially if they're like, you know, the old timers who, you know, remember yeah. it back when, I'm an you old know, timer. I guess you are, Matt. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you know, those old timers, you yeah, know, yeah. people um, over but, 30, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which will be me uh, like, you know, soon. Yeah. Well, yeah. Soon, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's great. I'm excited mm. for, um, for your year. Are you, do you have any plans for the, sorry, I'm turning this into like a Lucy Lemon podcast interview. Are you going to do any, um, anything with else with the podcast next year, Matt, or are you just going to keep um, it for analog now? Or are you I undecided? haven't made a decision about the podcast yet. I mean, for example, I'm going to turn this audio and put this out, uh, mm-hmm. on the podcast channel. Yep. Um, you know, a lot of people have, have messaged me and said a lot of some, quite a few people have made the, the leap across and will watch YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. There are a significant amount of people who said, I just don't have time for YouTube, but I do listen to your podcast. So yep. things like this are really good because we're not, we're not showing anything. There's no B-roll footage over the top. We're not yep. showing things on the camera right now. So this works as audio pretty well. Really well, yeah. Um, so I think it'll just be opportunities like this that I will do a video for for YouTube, which can mm-hmm. also be a, a audio on podcast, similar to yep. how we do our analog hour. Although mm-hmm. we, sometimes we do do visual references <laughs> with we analog do. hour. Yes, yeah. Uh, and yep. I've got a couple of interviews lined up as well very soon. I'm not going to say who they are. Hope, hopefully they'll, nice. they'll come off. But do a, okay. I'll probably do a few more interviews. Um, um, on my YouTube channel in 2023, which of course will the, the the podcast audio will be available through the podcast feed as well. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Okay, interesting because I know that there is sort of word on the word on the street mm-hmm. um, that YouTube are going to be introducing some kind of podcast feature, oh, like into you know because I feel like they really want to like dominate everything. Yeah, you know, like yeah. they've got shorts, they've got long yeah. content. They want to, and then they want to have the podcasting as well. So it's going to be. I'm not sure exactly, but I just saw a video. Someone was talking yeah. about it, um, which would be really cool because, you know, I love YouTube. It's my favorite platform. Yeah. Um, so having the podcasting integrated into that would be mm. cool as well. One so, stop shop. Yeah. So see, um, see, see what happens in mm. 2023 with that, but yeah, exciting. And anybody who is watching on YouTube, definitely comment and let us know your Yes. Goals. Let us know your goals for 2023. I've got, I've still got one though left. I've got one left oh, in the sorry, canon. Oh, sorry, Matt. Sorry. Oh, I just, <laughs> I'm like, you're, oh, you're trying done, to wrap so this up. And I, yeah. wrap this up. <laughs> my, well, my last mind. one, it's kind of, it kind of feeds into what you were saying. So my fifth goal is keep publishing content on YouTube and TikTok. Yep. Um, now I haven't put any specifics around that cause I don't want to say X mm-hmm. amount of videos or yeah, X yeah. amount of views. Cause who knows? Right. Yep. Um, but I hope to get, uh, by the end of 2023, I'm just shy of a thousand subscribers at the moment. Yeah. So I hope within a year, like by the end of 2023, I hope mm-hmm. to get to 2000. Yep. And nice. That's very, for, so achievable for TikTok. Uh, I'm just, I've just hit 5,000 on TikTok. Well so done. I don't know if it's, it's a bit of a stretch, but I'm hoping to get 10,000 by the end I of the year. I reckon you can, you can do that. 100% I'm not sure I can, but we'll give it, I'll give it a, I'll give it a red hot, red hot go this So <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I made some goals separate to what we did yeah. this year for like not numbers wise. Yes. Um, And I always feel kind of guilty when I do that. Cause I'm like, Oh, I'm not a person that like, you know, put places emphasis yeah. like on that. But then at the same time, when you're a content creator, you want something to, yeah. You know, it's towards... like when you run, if you're a runner, you yeah, want to get, course. you know, Personal I want to get best. to 5k. I want to get yeah, to, yeah, 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 you know, so it kind of just motivates you. Um, but I wanted to get to 10k mm-hmm. on YouTube by the end of the year. And yeah. I think I'm at like eight and a half wow. now. So Amazing. I probably won't, I won't get to the 10k mark, but um, I'm really happy with. Yeah, you've how... really shut up the last few months. There. Yeah, yeah. Even your really... latest few videos have been like 15k, 12k. Yeah, which is like so, massive. Like, yeah. so I remember when like my videos were getting like a thousand views, and I was like, yeah. oh my god, I've got a thousand views. Like, yeah, that's yeah, so exciting. Yeah. So it's important to remember that because you can get kind of greedy, I think, or like yeah. quickly forget what if it I was come. like. Yeah, so it's good mm-hmm. to reflect, but. Um, yeah, I don't have any like numbers goals. Um, I would like to grow on Instagram a little bit more, mm-hmm. I think like, and that's where I'm putting my effort is like YouTube and Instagram. Yep. Um, I love Instagram. I know everybody hates, well, not everybody hates Instagram, yeah. but people really like, oh, you know, um, and I was going to like try, I have, I have been thinking like I should get on TikTok. I, mm-hmm. I know some people are like, just repurpose your reels on TikTok, but um, I'm just like, worried to go down another rabbit hole of never you know, in I feel the history like that'll tip me over the edge like something else <laughs> never in the history of humankind has someone repurposed a reel for tiktok people always <laughs> people always repurpose tiktoks for oh, reels TikToks for reels. yeah because yeah. you see like the logo on it that, that yeah. was just a bit of a joke because oh, so okay. many so many people like it's easy content they just get uh, yeah, yeah. i'm yep. mostly interested in tiktok but i'll put it on reels but I'll yeah on, even okay. on facebook yep. now when i'm scrolling on facebook you'll yeah. see the reels and they're 
the, the TikToks that I saw a month ago, but people have put them yeah, on Instagram, like, they show up on some... Facebook. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, yep. so, hmm, interesting. Yeah, interesting, yeah. But you'll you'll be at 2000 Easy, Matt. Like, you're doing so well on, um, on, on YouTube. Well, thank you for your just... support, Lucy Lemon, and all the shout-outs. And oh, all. I of do course. appreciate it. Always happy to shout out a friend. Yeah, hmm. for sure. Yeah, no, yeah. it'll be good. I'm excited for 2023. Lots of exciting things are already happening towards like the end of the year for yep. me as well. Like other things that I haven't quite sort of announced. So yeah, really, um, really looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. And should we say anything just to finish this off? Um, mm-hmm. You know, we are hoping to put out a, a film photography magazine. Um, we, yes. We're still going through the logistics and the planning, but we are. What, what can we share with people? Can we share anything with people yet? I think we can share as much as you're happy to share with people, Matt. I'm a big sharer. I love to share. So you're um, an oversharer. I'm probably an oversharer. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love to update people. I have been updating people a little bit when I had my Patreon page, and then mm-hmm. when I now in my like YouTube memberships. Yeah. Um, I talk about it, and um, uh, those people get access to like a friends list on Instagram. So I will make posts about the magazine on there because yep. it's good to kind of validate your idea or like get people's input. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we can share. Um, I don't know where you want to start. We, 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 we both love magazines yep. so much and we talked about doing like a film photography magazine. I think it's something you've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, and we collaborate so well together. So we thought like, Hey, mm. why not, you know, um, like give it a go. But I think mostly our roadblocks are like, we were talking about it like before it's, kind of the logistics of it like yep. you know cost printing posted, costs, print like yep, printing costs, then adding that on you know um and then yeah posting it because a lot of our audience are overseas international. Mm. international um and then also we were talking about the point of like exclusive content you know mm-hmm. like trying to find something exclusive so people feel like they're getting their money's worth that's not on the internet or yeah I don't know that people, because a lot of people as well, they're happy to do stuff, but they want it to be like as far reaching as possible, which is yeah. fair enough. Um, so if only if it's only being sold in people's hands, like it's only going to reach in people's pants. So many people in people's pants. <laughs> in people's hands. Hands. Sorry, sorry, hands. Jeez, oh, I wonder what you're talking about for a minute. I thought, is, is this the same magazine? And I'm what kind of magazine on? are we making? Yeah. yeah sorry. No. But you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's only going to, yeah. So we're trying to work that out. How many copies do we do? Like, it's just, there's so much to, mm. you know, it's all well yeah. having an idea, but then you got to try and like work it out. But I feel like we are, we will do it. Right track, yeah. And we're on the right track. Um, But yeah, is there anything else that you want to share about it or? No, I think just look out for that. Watch this space in mm. 2023 and uh, yeah. hopefully more details will be coming through coming the soon. analog hour on the Loose mm. Lumens Analog Adventures uh, YouTube channel. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. And DM us if you, or email us or whatever, if you have any thoughts or suggestions on it, or I don't know, yeah. any tips or whatever. So yep. I did um try to touch base with the guys from Framelines because I oh, thought yes. it would just be interesting. And I thought yeah. they'd make a good podcast guest, but I didn't hear back from them. So if they happen oh, to be listening, watching, make sure check your DMs, guys. Check your DMs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for joining me uh for our thank 2023 for goals lucy limit it was fascinating to hear your thoughts as always and thank um you. yeah definitely if you've got any goals for 2023 mm, we'd love to hear them lucy them and below. i will both be checking the comments won't we so make definitely. sure you always in the put comments all your, your yep. goals down there and what you hope to achieve and we'd love to hear it for sure yeah definitely thanks for having me matt thanks lucy see you next okay. time okay see Bye-bye. ya bye bye